One of my dreams has always been to be able to combine a physical Eurorack system and a virtual Eurorack, such as VCV rack, software, Softube modular, or Cherry Audio voltage modular. And this time with the help of Cardinal, which is a totally open source fork of the VCV rack project, I was able to create a small module, which is this, which, which fits into my physical Eurorack system and run VCV rack. So follow me in this video, I will show you how to create this module. But first, the shopping list. You will need a Raspberry Pi, preferably a Pi 5 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. A Raspberry 4 might work, but it will be limited in, in performance. And then you will need to have a power supply for the Raspberry Pi. You could technically use any USB-C power supply, but I recommend buying the original and official PSU for the Raspberry Pi 5. Then you will also need some kind of uh, touchscreen display. And I found mine on AliExpress. It's a seven inch display, which is nearly perfect for the Eurorack system. You will also need a audio hat for the sound to go out of this Raspberry Pi. You will of course need an SD card. Uh, 16 gigabyte will be more than enough probably. And you will also need some optional components such as some USB cable to be able to bring the USB port to the front, to the front panel, and maybe a USB extension cable, some jacks, and, and possibly a heat sink for the Raspberry because it will become very hot. And the total expense for this project will be between 120 and about, about 150 euros or dollars depending on the components that you find. Let's start with the software setup first. You will need to format your SD card uh, for the operating system for the Raspberry. You can use the SD card formatter, which is uh, freely downloadable, and this is a very simple operation. You will need to download the official Raspberry Pi OS image, and I recommend you to download the first one, the one with desktop, but without any other recommended software, in order not to waste precious SD card space and also resources and you need to flash the operating system on ASD so you can use Balina Etcher then you simply select your image the image that you just downloaded you select the destination which will be the ASD card and then you simply press uh, flash and you will wait a couple of minutes maybe in order for the process to finish and the first part of the software setup is basically finished Now connect the Raspberry Pi to a HDMI monitor and start the first boot. And on first boot, you will simply need to select your country, your cable layout and stuff like that. It's again, it's a very simple procedure. The system will then restart and sorry for all the dust on my screen. You will be booted into desktop. This is not mandatory, but you should enable SSH in order to log remotely to the Raspberry Pi. So you go to the settings and simply enable the SSH interface. So I am now connecting from my Mac terminal to the Pi. Again, this is not mandatory. You can work on the Pi directly using a keyboard, for example, attached to the Raspberry. And again, this next passage is not mandatory, but you should update the operating system and then also install VGET, which will allow you to download additional packages. And then you need to add the repository for Cardinal. I will give you all the links in the description, so you simply need to execute a couple of commands. And now that we have the repository installed, we can simply go to Add Remove Programs and search for Cardinal, you can type this through Cardinal and you will get a different list of releases. So for example, you have a plugin and you need to install the plugin, the first one and the date as well. And the install process will begin. You simply will need to wait a little bit and to insert your password and that's it. And Cardinal is now installed. In order to find it, you should go to your source manager and then to the user bin folder and search for Cardinal native. 
So you simply double click on the icon, then choose execute, and after a few seconds, Cardinal will run. And as you can see here, I'm just exploring the interface, trying to load some modules, and you see it's perfectly working with a good amount of resources in this Raspberry Pi. I haven't installed the audio hat yet, so let's open an example patch and try to listen to it with my HDMI monitor. And it's perfectly working. Now let's move to the hardware setup. First we need to connect the display, and this is very simple because there's just one flex cable to connect. Just pay attention that the flex cable is very delicate and you can easily break it. And if the connection was successful, you should see the desktop on your screen, on your touchscreen, and then you will be also able to run Cardinal on, on the touchscreen, and you can use a mouse, for example, to open patches and to look around. And it's finally time to attach the audio hat, and the audio hat configuration might depend on your specific audio hat, and all the other components such as the heatsink and I have also added a couple of USB ports in order to have a small DIY module for the two outputs and the two USB ports for MIDI controllers in the future. And now I finally have the module installed in my, in my Eurorack system and I also was able to set up Cardinal to start automatically, so whenever the system boots up, Cardinal will launch in a, in a minute or so. And here I'm using a small stylus to select patches, uh, and of course editing the patches would be too difficult on a screen like this, so basically I will do that on my Mac and then transfer the patches on the Raspberry. And this is how you can use VCV Rock using Cardinal into your modular system. Um, for the last part of the video, I will simply let a patch play. I don't know who created this patch, it's uh, just an example patch, but I really love it. So let's enjoy a few moments of this patch, and if you want to see another video about using Raspberry in your system, just click on the video that you can see up here.